What's up guys? Today we got a pretty neat video and it's going to address an issue that we've all faced if you own an 18 volt Milwaukee. If so, you're going to want to stick around and I'll show you how to fix the dreaded battery connection issue when you turn your gun upside down after some use and it quits working. Super simple, super cheap, super effective. So you guys stick around. So like I said in the intro, if you own an M18 Milwaukee, the chances are you've run into this issue as well. This is my quarter inch impact driver. It's happened to me on my half inch 2767, as well as my hammer drill. Drill runs fine until you turn it up and it gets a little vibration, the battery comes out, or it just comes out enough that it loses connectivity and you can restart the tool by simply bumping the battery. So the light's still on. So the issue is the battery will come forward just a little bit from the vibrations. I don't know if it's wearing out inside the tool or wearing out inside the battery. I just know that it happens. You'll be working with it and all of a sudden it'll stop working. You can bump it or bump it and it'll start working again. So that's been my number one main complaint with the Milwaukee 18, M18 platform. And lucky for us, lucky for us, there is a fix for this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. Okay, so like I was showing there, the problem is the, there's a connectivity issue. As you can hear the slot that's in the battery on the M18. And what happens is it's got enough wiggle in it that will actually come loose, let the battery slide forward and the contacts will lose contact. So therefore your tool will run fine and you'll shake it around and that happens. Well, now that we know the issue with this, what is the solution? Well, thankfully our buddies over at Jersey Discount Tools has come out with this. Yes, sir. That is the shock strap designed by them to alleviate the battery issues. This is a three pack as you see. Three of them in here, they're available on their website and I'll get them open and show you how they work and why you need to purchase these. So now we know what the problem is and what the solution is, so how does it work? Simply set your tool down, pull the end through the buckle, pull it up here tight, then it'll go in the hole and there you have it. can shake. That's the bearings knocking in there because this thing's wore out. But you can hear no battery rattle like before. Hear how it's grinding in the, the top of it. But like before without the strap on there it would lose connection and would have an issue with it. So that's what they look like and that's how they function. It also, you know, gives you a little bit of protection against drops on your battery, bumps, stuff like that. But the main thing, it keeps that battery tight and keeps your connection solid so you don't lose connection and your tool fell on you right in the middle of a job. And you don't have to constantly do the, the bumping and the knocking to keep everything going. These things keep it nice and tight. Well, there it is guys. I told you it's a super simple solution to a common problem that happens if you have the Milwaukee M18 line. I guarantee you your tools have done this. If not, they will in the future if you use them. These tools put out so much torque and so much vibration, it's bound to cause a battery connection issue. And these shock straps by Jersey Discount Tools will alleviate that. And for 30 bucks, you get three of them and it definitely saves a lot of headache going forward. I've seen a lot of other people talk about using zip ties or paper and this and that. And these are by far the easiest, simplest things to use. Because when you get ready to take your battery out to change it, you don't have to cut zip ties and waste them. You don't have to look for a pair of cutters to cut them. You don't have to worry about the paper getting stuck up in there. You simply take your finger, pull it up, comes off. It just don't get much easier than that. 
It's a great investment, like say, if you own an M18 line, hopefully they'll come out with some way to keep the M12 batteries up in there because I have had a lot of issues with my M12, especially on my stubby impact, wanting to pull out of the bottom or the ears break off the side of them where they snap onto the tool. And hopefully Nick Morello and those guys will come up with something as a cure for the M12. So, but anyway, they've got them for the M18, so thankfully we're able to purchase something that'll help us out. Like always, guys, check their website out. Uh, you can go on their app. It's available for Android or iPhone. In the app store, it's JDTCO, or you can go to their website, which is jerseydiscounttools.com. All these links will be below, and if you can't find it just in the regular thing, you can go to the search bar and just type in shock straps and they'll come delivered to you in the little package and we'll make your life so much easier. Anyway guys, that's my video today. I know it's super short, but it's very informative and a lot of you guys have seen the same problems out of your M18 lines as I have with the batteries coming loose and your tool just stopping in the middle of the job. So I thought this would be a pretty helpful video for you guys looking for the simplest, quickest, easiest answer and obviously right here it is. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here in the link for merchandise. Got some pretty cool shirts and stuff there. Cool tools and discount codes is in the video description. And like always, if you're not subscribed, hit that button. It's just one click with your finger, press that button and you're good to go. Well, you guys have a great week and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.